Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we're going to take a look at a plugin that aims to address a really common problem for home mixers and home recording engineers and that is not always being able to record or mix in a well-treated acoustic space with great monitoring. That can lead to all kinds of issues like mixes not translating well across multiple systems or bad frequency response where you think you're getting a great balance but it's really not coming across that way. This plugin aims to solve that problem with headphones, a great headphone monitoring solution that using psychoacoustics fools your brain into thinking you're mixing in one of these spaces with a great treated room with some slight reflection and some great monitoring. There are some other companies that do this already. Slate VSX is one that comes with a dedicated set of headphones, hardware tied into the software. Waves does a bit of this. You can manually put your sort of head dimensions in there, but this is the first plugin that I think is really personalized in that it allows you to take a picture of your ear and then develops a unique HRTF profile based upon your unique ear shape, tailoring the software's response to your anatomy, which is really cool. I've already done that. I put my HRTF in here already, but that's the first step you would do in setting this plugin up. So just to run through the interface quickly, on the top left, you've got a list of headphones you can choose from. AKG, a couple of pairs, some Audis headphones. I'll scroll down so you can see them all. Some Audio-Technica headphones, some Biodynamic headphones, Sennheiser, Sony, one pair, and then other if yours don't fall in any category. Now, I do use a pair of Biodynamic headphones, but they're not on there. I don't have the DT880s on the list. So what I did instead is just go down to other generic open back headphones, and that gets me the headphone profile I want. If I went down to the headphone tab down here, what I could do instead is just take the headphone EQ off and use another third-party plugin like Sonarworks to get the headphone response that I want and just use this plugin for the room. On the bottom left, we've got the different studios to choose from, Echo Bar Studio A and B, Diamond Control Room, Spitfire Studio, and Music Friends Studio. On each studio's page, you've got a few different pictures with some information about the engineers involved and the studio themselves. One of the other cool things about the plugin is that the engineers for each studio help tweak this to make sure the response is correct as if you're sitting in that studio. So I scroll through the different studios. You can see they have different monitoring situations for each one. So for example, I can choose between a Focal or a Cali monitoring setup here. In the Diamond Control Room, a Dynaudio or a Meyer, and in Spitfire, a Focal or Genelec. PMC and Unity in the Music Friends Studio. And having all those different monitoring solutions, it's great to check your mix across a bunch of different scenarios. Right below where we choose those different monitors, we can slide how much ambience we want in the mix. That's how much kind of room reflection there is from none all the way up to 100%, and they give a default. This one was 27%. A master gain if you want to turn it down or up a little bit. In the headphone tab, besides turning the headphone EQ on and off, we can actually slide how much correction is applied. There's a limiter to make sure you don't have any peaks from the plugin. In the settings panel, we've got HRTF intensity, a left-right balance. But I'll jump back to the main controls here. So it's really easy to use. Basically, just pick a studio that kind of fits with what you like the sound of, pick a monitoring solution you like, and go from there. Oh, and also pick the headphones you've got. Right now, I'm going to play the mix, but I'm going to bypass the plugin first. This is just a mix as if you were listening to it normally. So rather than pick a specific headphone, I'm going to start here with generic open back. So if you want to hear what this sounds like, grab a pair of open back headphones if you got them. And let's listen to what this does. I'm going to scroll through the different studios and hear how it affects the sound. We're going to start with Echo Bar Studio A. Jumping back to Echo Bar Studio, I'll go through the different monitors we have here. This is 
great for checking mono compatibility, really tight speakers, small speakers here. So now what I want to do is go through that same process, just run through all five studios, but going to generic closed back headphones. So just in case you didn't have open backs, you've got closed back headphones. Listen to how it sounds with this profile, starting with Echo Bar Studio A again. So like I said earlier, you can pick a specific headphone model if you've got it, but you can use these generic profiles if you don't, or another solution like Sonoworks, just turn the headphone profile off and use that. I tried it with Sonoworks, it sounds great in combination with Sonoworks. So there it is, the Immerse Virtual Studio from Embody, another headphone mixing solution that addresses a really common problem nowadays. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I will see you in the next one.